Hi. I'm going to show you how to extract a bit of text from a cell in Google Sheets. So the text I have here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the first part of this text. And in the specific use case that I was trying to solve when I figured this out was to be able to take a social media post and grab the beginning of it to use it as a UTM content field in Google Analytics. So if you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. The point is that we're going to take the beginning part of this text and we're going to get it into a cell. So the simplest way to do this is to use the left function. And what the left function does is you pass it a cell and then you say, I want the leftmost 25 characters. So what it's done here, I mean, there's also an equivalent right function and it's just saying just stops after 25 characters and returns that. For my purposes, I didn't really like that. I wanted it to end on a specific, well, on a word, not a specific word, but just a word. So, so the first thing that I did is I used this split function. And what the split function does is you can pass it a string or the content text in the cell. And, and then you can say, I want to split this text on a space character. So what this does is it takes the contents of the cell and it returns a bunch of cells, each one with one of the words. So not, not really, I mean, doesn't necessarily help all that much yet, but the next formula is super cool. So now what I'm gonna do is that's, what it's returned there is called an array. So, and it writes an array into multiple cells. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, use this array constraint formula and I'm going to pass it my split so here I'm going to split this do the same thing again and now the way array constraint works is you can say this is how many rows and how many columns I want out of the array and and in this case we only have one row so I'm going to say one and then I'm going to say I want the first five words so now, ooh, we're getting close. All right, so we've got the first five words. Now the next super cool function is I can take an array. Actually, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this down to make my life a little easier. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I can take this array and I can use the join function, which puts it all back together. Now in the case of the join function, it works a little different than split. It actually, you say what you wanna join it on first, um, so I want to join this together and, and what that means is that I'm going to take the array and I'm going to put it back together, but I'm going to separate the values that I get back with a space. So essentially I took the space out before and split it all up and now I'm putting it all together and putting spaces back in. So look at that. See, we're close, very close. Uh, well, actually, I mean, this, this is fine for, for what I described. The last thing I'm going to do, just to, to be sort of elegant, is uh, I'm going to use this concatenate function. And I'm going to, well, actually, I'll do the same thing as I did before, just so I don't have to retype everything. I'm going to copy this down. And then I'm going to wrap this whole thing in a concatenate function. And the concatenate function says, I, I, I pass the concatenate function different values, and it just sticks them together. So in this case, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add an ellipsis onto the end just to say I've cut off part of this. So there you go. Look at that. Beautiful.